Hello everyone, my name is Deacon Joe Yoakum. I'm a permanent deacon here at Our Lady of Peace. I'm glad you could join us for our Walk Through the Windows tour here at Our Lady of Peace in Erie, Pennsylvania. Today we are going to be looking at the next window, which is the window of baptism. It's situated, it's the last window on the southeast wall of the church, and it is directly over the baptismal font. And this window marks a change in what we've seen to this point. Previously, we were covering all of the Old Testament windows, and so now we shift to the sacraments in the New Testament as we undertake the window for baptism. Now on this window at the very top, you will see a cross, of course, the Christian symbol of the cross. And as we enter into our Christian vocation, which we do through the sacrament of baptism, the cross is very appropriate. Also on this window, we will see symbols of the dove, the shell, and the water. These are all symbols of baptism, and ultimately they point us to union with the Trinity, which is what baptism is all about. The sacrament of baptism, of course, we see the water and we see all of the symbols of baptism, but we don't visibly see the Holy Spirit. And the church tells us that baptism is the first time where we really receive the gift of the Holy Spirit in a real way that enters us into a new relationship with Christ. And so it's very appropriate that this window for baptism would all symbolize that union with the Trinity, our marriage with God, because we are the bridegroom, as scripture tells us, and the church is the bridegroom of Christ. So in order to enter into this relationship with Christ and the Trinity through the sacrament of baptism, we have the symbol of the dove coming into our hearts. Also, a symbol that we have on this window is the shell. And it's very appropriate for here at Our Lady of Peace because the thing that we use to put the water in to baptize the babies that come to the font is actually a shell. And so we see that symbol of the shell, which leads us to the newness of life and the symbol of water flowing through that shell. Now also associated with this window through the symbols of the dove, the shell and the water is a reference to Romans chapter six, verse four. And that would be the green branches, which we see on this window with the water coming off of and so I wanted to read to you this verse from scripture. Again, this is Romans chapter six, verse four. It says, we were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might have newness of life. And of course, in the sacrament of baptism, we talk about a newness of life. We talk about a new life in our spiritual journey. We put aside the ways of our old life and enter into the Christian life, and we accept our Christian vocation. And so it's very appropriate that this window refers to the newness of life. And in that, we see that through the images of the branches and the water. And so in conclusion with this window, I would like to point out the song by Carrie Underwood, There's Something in the Water. In this song, she sings about putting away the old life and moving into a new life. She talks about going with the preacher down to the river to be baptized. And she talks about how it's a complete change of life. And so as Christians, we look to the sacrament of baptism and the newness of life indicated in our window here, and we embrace that newness of life.